This video is proudly brought to you by Hovitech. Hovitech. Just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'll be explaining how to get the mount point of a MediaTek or a Spectrum Android phone. Now, mount point simply means a map, all right? So when you port your custom recovery, your custom recovery has to have the correct mount points, which tell it where to locate what partition. So it knows where to locate your boot partition, it knows where to locate your system partition, you have to locate your LK partition and the rest, so it doesn't mix them up. Now, if you somehow don't have the correct mount points in your custom recovery, you will find your you you find yourself in a in a case where you are getting errors like you know unable to mount system partition, unable to mount SD card, you know, and the rest. You have a lot of partition errors like that. So it's very important to have the right partitions in your custom recovery. Now, I wonder repercussion of not having the correct mount point is that you could have issues during backup issues like um your system.img being named recovery.img or during flashing your system.img being flashed your boot partition you know a lot of mix up could just a lot of mix ups to just to come around excuse me as a result of you mixing up your partitions or your mount points so it's very important to specify the correct mount point now in this guide i will be explaining how to get the mount points as i earlier mentioned from your android phone now what you need is adb um, which i have here then your phone needs to be rooted and you of course in the pc now if you if you've not rooted your phone and are relying on the custom recovery to root the phone, you can always just port the custom recovery first. Maybe use ADB side load to root it, then you can proceed with getting the mount point. So that is one technique could, you could use. All right. So first of all, you need to install a root browser, which requires root, of course. I'm using ROM two box light, and then you just need to launch the root browser and tap no here all right so you are going to open the dev folder this is it and then you're going to open the block folder and then the platform folder now in the platform folder you're looking for a folder called by name by hyphen name so you're going to open every folder you find in the platform folder to locate that folder named by name all right so i have just one folder here i'll open so this is the by name folder here all right so what i need to take note of is the name of the folder where i located the by name folder that's immediate parent folder of the by name folder in this case the folder where i located the by name folder is the mtk hyphen msdc.0 folder this is the folder that contains the by name folder all right so i'm going to take note of that mtk-msdc.0 folder now since i know this folder name i'm going to minimize this and then launch adb now to run adb you just hold the shift key on your keyboard then you right click on any empty space in the folder and then open command window here all right i'll just drag this down for you okay so here i'm going to first test an adb connection if adb can actually detect the phone so I'm going to type ADB space devices and press enter. Okay, I have a detection here. Next up is ADB space shell. Press enter. And the next up is SU. Now if if you get um, a prompt on your phone requesting for supervisor permission, you allow or you grant. So after the SU, don't forget I pressed and enter, and then we are going to run this command: ls space hyphen l l hyphen a l space 
forward slash dev dev sorry dev slash block slash platform slash this folder name mtk hyphen msdc dot zero mtk hyphen msdc dot zero slash by hyphen name All right so i press enter so this is a list of your mount points so what you just need to do is to unpack the custom recovery go to the ram disk folder in the ram disk folder you find another etc folder you open that then you find the file named recovery.fstab just open that file using notepad and then you enter the mount points for your phone correctly and then you can save and repack so that is how to get the mount point of your MediaTek or Spectrum Android phone.